So if you've been struggling with your weight and you want to cut out on oily and spicy and uh, highly flavored foods, we sometimes have very strong habits and one good way or a very easy hack for that is for us to actually have something spicy, salty and yes, oily on the side. So here's a secret recipe of mine. Uh, well, not so secret, more like it's um, unmeasured. But I remember there was, a, there was an Australian chef called Kylie Kwong and she had this amazing recipe that she said that her parents' restaurant used to follow of a chili oil. And this was something that they used to make just before the restaurant opened and the flavors would waft into the streets and entice customers. So here I'm going to show you my hack for the chili oil that will hit all of those taste buds and you can just end up using very little of it. So all we have here is finely chopped onion. This is about one onion, but honestly, half is plenty. I like to make them in big batches. These are, these are chili flakes. They are pre-roasted, but you can just buy any kind of chili flakes and they don't need much uh, cooking at all. Garlic, as per taste, for me, you can never use enough garlic. I've got uh, some sea salt. Again, because the crystals are big, they're going to give you that hit of flavor with far less salt than would otherwise have dissolved in the oil. I've got a few spices here. Uh, unfortunately, my lone star aniseed is broken, but I've got some whole pepper and some cloves. Uh, whatever spices you like and, and want to get a taste of is fine to use. So for this recipe, now that we've got all of our ingredients together, I'm going to heat a wok, kanai. And into that wok, I'm going to pour just regular vegetable oil. This is one recipe that doesn't do very well with olive oil. You could try it, but uh, I'm going with the Kylie Kwong original, just regular vegetable oil that you used to cook. What you do want to do is to create a bit of a pool of oil in the center. We let it um, heat up just a little bit. And I'm going to start with the garlic first. This we want to let brown just a little bit. You can follow it with the onion. Oh, it's already starting to smell so good. So you see it's, it's swimming in oil right now, but we haven't added the chili flakes yet. And of course, this is an oil-based recipe which I'm going to ask you very little of. The spices can go in now as well. The oil is hot enough. And we're going to just let this brown nicely. You can see that there's a slight brown rim starting to form and you need to keep stirring it so that the onion doesn't stick to the bottom or to the sides of the hot wok. And please make sure you're standing well away from it so that none of the oil splashes on you. As you can see, it's turning white right now, but we need for it to start to brown nicely. The less moisture there is in the onion and garlic, the longer this is going to keep for. Now we get to a slightly critical stage. It's nice and brown. Any more and it will very quickly turn bitter and black. So I'm, I've turned the heat down here. As long as you're vigilant, it's good enough. I clearly haven't cut this finely enough because I do see a lot of white bits still. That's my bad. I am a lazy chef. But I am in lockdown. So here we come to the final stage which is to just 
put the chili flakes in. I'm going to play this by ear or by feel rather because I'm going to see how much this mixture can actually take. What you want is to see the chili flakes blend with the onion and garlic. You can take that much more. There we go. Very quickly now, I'm going to add the sea salt at the very end so that it doesn't melt into the oil too much. And we're going to turn the flame off. And the sauce will continue to, the oil will continue to cook in the heat of the pan and in its own heat. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to keep stirring it for a minute or two, wait for it to cool down and it's going to go in a glass jar. I put this into the fridge because this is a lot and you literally need half a teaspoon of it as a side to your salad or onto your pasta or onto anything really, even even a avocado toast. I, I haven't found a, a dish that this hasn't gone with. Strictly speaking, it's Chinese, but then again, we are all united and uh, children of the world. Think of it that way. This is your hit of chili, oil, and salt, and spices. You sparingly relish and enjoy. Thank you for watching.